Now that we configured our application to use identity, we pulled it into our application DB context. We went and we created a new user and we extended the user, the identity user, that's identity. Then we configured it in our startup class. Now we're ready to do our migration. What we'll do is we'll drop the database. Uh, normally you don't want to do that. Keep in mind when you do that, this is pretty extreme. Like you'll, you'll lose all your, your information in the database, things like that. But we're currently at the beginning stage of this application. So dropping the database, you know, is not a big deal. And then we'll just create a brand new database. And then we'll go and delete our migrations folder, create a new migration, uh, update the database. And then we'll go check out the database. And after the, after we update our database, we should have several new identity tables in there that identity is giving us. And we'll check that out after we're done. Let's go check out the database before we go del deleting it. So if we go to open up the database, and here it is. Right now we have three tables. This is what we did before. And we have our values table in there. Now after we're done doing our migration, we'll have several new tables in here. And then if we browse the data, we're going to lose all this data here. It's going to get all wiped out when we drop the database. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're dropping a database. Now let's go and drop this database and we'll go and start doing our new migration. Let's start off by deleting our database. So to do that, you just go put in .NET, then EF. And again, if you don't remember all the different commands, you just hit enter. I do that a lot actually. And then what we're going to be doing is using the database. So CLS, then hit up, up, and then database. And then what we're going to be doing is dropping it. Now it's going to ask you, it's going to double check with you before you actually drop the database. And it's asking you, are you sure you want to do this? And yes. Okay, so we dropped the database. And as you can see, we lost it in here. It's no longer in here. And then let's go into here. We're going to just go get rid of this migrations folder. Delete this. And we're going to be creating a brand new uh, database and brand new migration folder. Okay, so now that uh, we got rid of everything, let's do a brand new migration. So I'll just clear this out. We'll enter in .NET. EF, then migrations, add, and you can call this whatever uh, you want. I'm going to call it um, add identity. That would be good. And then again, if you hit enter, we, we went over this in a prior video, but if you hit enter right now, this will put the migrations folder within your API. We want to keep that migrations folder in the, the data access layer. So what we'll do is we'll just put in a uh, project like this and then the address of the project. So um, it's going to be dot dot then ci dot dal. And that should put the migrations folder within the data access layer folder. Okay, so it went and created a brand new migration. And then if we go in here and there's our brand new migration folder. Now we could go and we could always remove a migration by using this right here. So if you made a mistake and you don't want to want that migration anymore, before you push it up to the database, you could always just put in .NET EF and then migrations. And then if you hit enter just the way it is now, right here you have a option of removing a prior migration right here. So just keep that in mind. So if we clear this out again, now what we want to do is we want to update the database. We want to add or create a new database and add all those new tables to it. So we'll just go in and put .NET EF database database update. And this should create our brand new database. All right, if we go and check out our, our API, there's our brand new database. Now let's go and open up our, our database and check out all the brand new tables that has been given to us. Our database is looking really good. Now, if you're trying to open up your database, just go to open database and then navigate into the CI API folder. That's where our database was put when we created it. Just double click on that, that should open it up. And then now we have several new tables that we didn't have before and all these are given to us by identity now. And then also our values table is still there. And if we go and we inspect our values table, we lost all that information and that's fine. And then if we go and we start checking out some of these tables that identity gives us. Now there's a couple that we're going to be using a lot in this section. And in this section, there's a couple that we're not going to be using much. Like for example, 
Uh, th this one, this a ASP.NET user logins. This is for like throwing third party information like Google, Facebook, things like that. And we're not going to be getting too much into that. The ones that we're going to be using a lot is this one. This is where we're going to store all our employees and our employers. And then if you remember when we were working inside the user uh, entity we created, we went and we added in a new column and that was company name. And actually let's go and check that out. So if we go back here and we open up, uh, close this down, and then the entity we created in the last video was right in here. Open this up. So we went and we created this new entity. We extended the identity user and then we added in our own column and that's what we're seeing in that base now. And then all those other columns are being added by identity. And if we, if we hit F12 on this again and hit F12. And then here are all the uh, columns that you're seeing right now. So you're seeing the, you know, the phone number and that's all in the database. If we go and navigate back here, right there, there it is. That looks really good. Now we're going to be, need to add more tables in later. Like for example, we're going to have to have a one to many relationship. So we're going to have to have some, a table for like bridging between users, but we'll get into all that later, but uh, it looks good for now. So in the next video, we're going to be creating register method and uh, we'll, we'll start registering new users. And then also later on down the road, we're going to get into roles like, um, we're going to be creating different type of roles like employer roles, employee roles. We'll get in all that as well. But now we're ready to actually start creating new users. And we'll start on that in the next video. So I'll see you then.